The Life of Shenron from Dragon Ball. Shenron is a magical dragon from the Dragon Ball franchise. In the English dub of Dragon Ball, he is mostly called the Eternal Dragon, and in the early Harmony Gold Dragon Ball English dub from the 1980s, he's known as the Dragon God. Welcome to the Amagi. In today's video, we're going over the life of Shenron. Before we begin, we publish a new video every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. The Amagi's reach stretches beyond just this channel, so if you're a fan, please consider subscribing to our other channels and following us on all of our social media. Help us reach our goal of passing 100,000 followers on all of our accounts by the end of the year. And with that out of the way, let's get into the video. Early Life Shenron is said to live in the fiery center of the earth. Whenever he's called, he'll arrive to grant one wish before returning to his fiery home to sleep until he's called again. Before the events of Dragon Ball, the last time Shenron was summoned was to grant someone's wish to become king, possibly referring to King Furry, as Bulma explains to Goku in their first meeting. Emperor Pilaf Saga Shenron is first summoned on screen by Emperor Pilaf and his assistants outside of Pilaf's castle. Pilaf collects the remaining Dragon Balls from Goku and his friends to ask Shenron for the wish to gain complete control over the entire planet, and become its ruler with an iron fist. However, before Pilaf can make the wish, Ulan spots the dragon and interrupts a wish and wishes for the world's comfiest pair of underwear, which Shenron grants. Shenron then says his farewells and departs, and the Dragon Balls scatter across the planet and turn into stone. Fortune Teller Baba Saga The following year, Goku befriends Upa and his father Bora, who was unfortunately killed by mercenary Tao during the Commander Red Saga. Promising Upa that he will use the Dragon Balls to resurrect his father, Goku first collects them, six from mercenary Tao and one from Emperor Pilaf, and summons Shenron at the sacred land of Korin. Urging Upa to make the wish, Upa asks Shenron if he can bring his father back to life. Stating that it is a trifling matter, he grants the wish and departs. The Dragon Balls begin to scatter once again, but this time, Goku spots his grandpa's keepsake and grabs it before it takes off. King Piccolo Saga After King Piccolo uses the Dragon Balls to regain his youth, he murders Shenron before he can disperse to prevent anyone else from using the Dragon Balls against him. Piccolo Jr. Saga After King Piccolo's defeat, Kami revives Shenron to reward Goku for his valiant efforts against King Piccolo. He had originally decided not to recreate them, as he designed the balls to encourage acts of bravery and give people a sense of hope, but the selfishness and greed of mankind caused the Dragon Balls to be used in the exact opposite manner than what intended. It was only upon Goku displaying his undying love for his friends that he decided that there were, indeed, good people left in this world. Yamcha and the others summon Shenron at Kame House, who tells him that Goku is currently training with Kami in preparation for the next World Martial Arts Tournament. Already aware of the wish that they want granted, Shenron restores to life all those killed by King Piccolo and his spawn, including Krillin, Master Roshi, and Shiatsu, and then departs. Saiyan Saga Shenron is summoned at Kame House to revive Goku in order to defend the planet from the Saiyans. However, Oolong asks if it would be possible for Shenron to beat up the Saiyans and save the Earth. However, Shenron tells Oolong that it would be impossible as he was created by a god, and he's unable to grant a wish that surpasses the power of a god. Master Roshi then has Shenron resurrect Goku from the dead before he departs. Shortly thereafter, Shenron is indirectly deactivated when Nappa kills Piccolo, taking an attack meant for Gohan. Due to Kami's connection to Piccolo, Kami dies as well, and the Dragon Balls are turned into stone as a result. Frieza Saga the Eternal Shenron is indirectly revived by the Namekian Dragon Balls when Gohan and Krillin wish for Piccolo to be revived and transported to Namek. Mr. Popo, having already gathered the Dragon Balls together, summons Shenron and asks if he can restore all the lives that Frieza and his men took. Being that the deaths occurred on a faraway planet, Shenron is initially unsure if he can grant such a wish, but is successful nonetheless. Cell Saga a few years later, Shenron is temporarily deactivated when Kami decides to rejoin with Piccolo, due to extreme circumstances. With Dende's remodeling, Shenron is able to grant three wishes. However, since Dende is not powerful enough, Shenron can only fulfill two of the three wishes if a large number of people are revived using one of the wishes. After Gohan defeats and kills Cell, the group heads to Kami's lookout where they summon Shenron and ask him to revive everyone that had been killed by Cell. Shenron grants the wish, but Piccolo notes that he cannot sense Goku's energy. With one wish remaining, Yamcha asks if there's some way for him to bring Goku back, but Shenron denies, saying that he's already been brought back to life once before. Instead, Krillin asks if he can turn Android 18 and Android 17 back into humans. 
Again, Shenron says he cannot, as their powers are too great, and his powers cannot affect such powerful creatures. Krillin asks if he can simply remove the bombs from them, and being an easy task, Shenron grants the wish and departs. Majin Buu Saga Wishes can also be saved until the next summoning. In this case, the Dragon Balls would scatter around the world in the same way as if someone had spoken all the wishes, but will remain as stones for only 4 months, after which Shenron can be summoned again to grant the remaining wishes. Afterward, the balls scatter and turn to stones for a whole year. This is shown when Shenron is summoned to revive everyone who was killed on the day of the World Martial Arts Tournament. Bulma summoned him prematurely, not realizing the grave danger the rest of the population was still in, and on Dende's advice, Goku invokes this option. The wish saved is used four months after Kid Buu's defeat in order to erase the memories that the people of Earth had of Majin Buu, except for Goku's friends and family. Gods of the Universe Saga Shenron was summoned, and Sorbet shouts for Frieza to be revived, but Shenron doesn't respond. Sorbet asks if he could make the wish, but Shenron says that his body was cut into pieces, and that it would be no point without a soul. Tagoma suggests that they use the recovery chambers on the ship, so Sorbet tells Shenron to revive him anyway. God of Destruction Beerus Saga Shenron is summoned by Goku aboard the Princess Bulma to learn more about the Super Saiyan God. After Goku mentions Beerus, Shenron became afraid to hear he was actually present. He then spoke to Beerus, referring to him with the respectful honorific and acting like a humbled servant rather than a powerful deity. Beerus acknowledged him by mentioning he heard of him. Shenron nervously explained that he knew the method for producing Super Saiyan God, tells them that if five pure-hearted Saiyans hold hands and pour their hearts into another pure-hearted Saiyan, the God of the Saiyans will be born. With that, Shenron bids a very respectful farewell to Beerus. Golden Frieza Saga Shenron is later summoned after the Pilaf gang collects the Dragon Balls. However, Sorbet and Tagoma threaten them into letting them wish Frieza back to life. Using the other two wishes, Shu wishes for a million zenny and Mai wishes for ice cream. Universe 6 Saga Shenron is summoned by Bulma along with Goku, Vegeta, Beerus, and Whis to help find the last Super Dragon Ball, and is once again frightened by Beerus' appearance. He tries to find what they're looking for, but he can't because the universe is so vast even for him, and searching for it in another universe is beyond his power, leaving Bulma to make the Super Dragon Radar. Beerus then shoes off Shenron when he asks for the other wishes and the Dragon Balls are scattered once more. Future Trunks Saga In the anime, following the defeat of Zamasu, Goku collects the Dragon Balls so he can wish King Kai back to life. Due to one wish having been granted before, only two can be granted. Several of the Z Fighters and their allies arrive to try and get a wish. The first wish Shenron grants is to cure the sick Pan, who is suffering from a fever. Eventually, Goku tries to wish King Kai back to life, but due to taking too long, Shenron leaves before he can do so. Broly Saga During the bonus Story 4 chapter of the Galactic Patrol Prisoner Saga, Shenron makes a brief appearance as Goku tells Maris how events on planet Vegeta led to King Vegeta exiling Broly to Vampa, resulting in the events of the Broly Saga. He's seen when Chilai and Lemo summon him to make a wish for Broly to be sent back to Vampa just when Broly was about to be killed by Gogeta's Limit Ultra Kamehameha. Prison Planet Saga In the manga, Shenron is called forth from the special Dragon Balls by Majin Azoto in order to be granted immortality. However, before he can complete the wish, Oolong instead wishes for everybody on the prison planet to be returned to where they came from. Shadow Dragon Saga after the Z Fighters defeat the Shadow Dragons, Shenron appears without being summoned. He heals Goku's wounds and grants one last wish before he leaves the Earth with Goku and the Dragon Balls in order to recuperate and teach the Earth's inhabitants to stop relying on the Dragon Balls to solve their problems. Shenron then takes Goku and flies away, saying goodbye to all his friends. While flying through beautiful golden clouds, Shenron seals the Dragon Balls inside Goku's body, causing him to disappear. He then roars and flies into a bright light. Curse of the Blood Rubies Shenron is summoned and grants Pansy's wish to remove all the Blood Rubies and restore the land. Mystical Adventure Shenron is summoned and grants Goku's wish to revive Bora. The Path to Power Shenron is summoned and grants Goku's wish to revive Android 8 and remove the bomb inside of him. Dead Zone Garlic Jr. summons Shenron and wishes to become immortal. World's Strongest Shenron is summoned by Dr. Kochin to free Dr. Wheelow's laboratory from a frozen mountain. The Tree of Might After a forest burned down, Gohan and Krillin use the Dragon Balls to restore the forest so the animals can go back to their homes. 
On an interesting note, Gohan's dragon friend Icarus mistakenly tries to attack Shenron out of fear, only for Shenron to defend himself by attacking the young dragon with one of his whiskers in a whip-like manner. Fortunately, Gohan manages to stop Icarus from being hit and explains that Shenron is there to restore the forest. Oolong states he's not surprised that Icarus was scared as Shenron does have a scary face, causing Shenron to let out a roar. Shenron calms down, he asks for them to make their wish, and Gohan wishes that the burnt up forest was restored. Shenron calls the wish a simple matter and immediately grants the wish, restoring the forest to its original state within seconds. Lord Slug Lord Slug uses the Dragon Balls to wish for his youth back in a manner similar to King Piccolo. Broly, Second Coming Although Shenron does not appear in the film, not counting the opening, Videl briefly mentions him as she wonders whether she appropriately dressed herself for when she meets Shenron in person, as she, Goten, and Trunks were trying to locate the Dragon Balls. In addition, Goten and Trunks planned to use Shenron to deal with Broly while he was rampaging, although he failed to appear. Goten speculated it was because the cave prevented him from appearing. In addition, it's implied that Shenron overheard Goten's private wish for Goku to be present to help defeat Broly, resulting in him either temporarily reviving Goku to deal with the maniacal legendary Super Saiyan, or at the very least making an illusion modeled after him. Fusion Reborn Gohan summons Shenron to send all the dead people who showed up on Earth back to other world. However, Shenron is unable to do so as there is nothing to keep these people there. Humorously, Shenron is seen at the end of the film, apparently still waiting for someone to make a wish and losing patience. Wrath of the Dragon Goku and the Z Fighters summon Shenron to ask him to open Hoi's music box. After Hirudagarn is defeated, they mention reviving the people killed using the Dragon Balls. Broly Shenron is summoned by Chila to send Broly back to planet Vampa before he's about to be disintegrated by Gogeta's ultimate Kamehameha. Superhero With few options left to defend the Earth from a new android threat, Piccolo flies to the lookout to ask Dende if he can unlock his potential similar to how the Grand Elder Guru once did for Gohan and Krillin. Dende says he can't as he's too young, but upgrades the Dragon Balls to be able to do so using a special water. At the Capsule Corporation, after Shenron is summoned, Piccolo takes the first wish, and the dragon unlocks his latent potential, even noting that he threw in a bonus. Bulma then uses the two remaining wishes to ask for a butt lift and longer eyelashes. A Hero's Legacy 100 years later, Shenron presumably returns, as the four-star Dragon Ball is seen again. Did you enjoy our video? Be sure to check out these other great videos from the Amagi, and make sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.